Rise and shine, my fellow Bacon Bits. We are back with our Kalaskan Nuzlocke, and we are jumping straight in. Uh, you'll be able to see right there on the side, the middle, we have a new Pokemon, and I took the liberty of putting everybody up to level 40 this time. Uh, which was a lot of training for some of these guys. Um, I don't think... Yeah, Holly didn't learn any new moves. Uh, Jinx Buttercup finally learned... Finally forgot Metal Sound. We learned Meteor Mash. Even though Steel Wing and Meteor Mash are pretty much every Steel type I've had knows those moves. Can't do much. Rose didn't learn anything new. Neither did Daisy. Uh, Marigold didn't learn anything new. And our new Pokemon, he was an Abra, but uh, Abra doesn't learn any moves, and I also didn't push the button right for some reason. But Abra... Uh, now Kadabra, who is water ground type, has Hustle, trades Accuracy for Power, that's kinda dumb. Um, but we'll deal with it, I guess. But yeah, it's got Frenzy Plant, Magnitude, Crab Hammer, Smelling Salt, which was Abra's only damage dealing move at first, so... Glad we have some new ones. Uh, but yeah, Lavender's the, the new Pokemon there. Let's jump in today, though. We need to figure out what happened to... Uh, I figured these guys didn't. Uh, we need to figure out what happened to uh, Groudon, though. Groudon took off without us. I'm betting our first stop should be Lily Cove. Because uh, I think, if I remember, or if, I, if I'm guessing the Emerald plotline correctly, we have to get Kyogre to fight uh, Groudon, and so we'll have to go try and pretend to stop Team Aqua from raising Kyogre. And that will send us on the mission to go get uh, Rayquaza to stop the fighting. First though, let's vaporize these two Pokémons with our absolute powerhouses now. My hope is that by getting everybody up to level 40, we'll do something we haven't done in a couple episodes, and not kill anybody. That would be awesome. Nice. Well done, Buttercup. Holly gonna slurp up that XP. Lazy Mark. What went wrong? <laughs> I'm actually gonna put Lavender up front. Uh, because I want Lavender to level up so that uh, she'll evolve into Alakazam. Um, because I do have... I may have mentioned this before, but it wasn't relevant until now. But I have the thing on... Where they... Sorry, I'm trying to think and do stuff. The, the trade Pokémon evolve by level now, and I believe the level is 40. And so... Uh, we will try and get Lavender to evolve. Get that full Alakazam power going. I even have an idea- we're gonna fly, though. I even have an idea of what we can do for a, a fake Pokémon concept for her. So, maybe by next week I'll have that done. Uh, but as usual, I would prefer to see your guys's. So if anybody watches this and wants to give something, submit something, just uh, comment a link to the picture, or uh, like I don't know, figure out something. I guess the same way suits suit me perfectly, a crisp breeze suits the sea, and you, a berry, suits you to a tea. Ooh, Lepa Berry, my favorite. Thank you, sir. Now, Leppa isn't super useful, but I do love me a Leppa Berry. The nature-loving Team Aqua. But what they do and what they say don't match at all. Welcome to evil teams of the Pokemon region, because that's basically how it always goes. Oh boy. Problem. No, we, we shouldn't have to worry too much, because... Surf is learnable by a lot of people. We're gonna teach Lavender, because Lavender's actually water type. 
and doesn't have a field move for us yet. I'm gonna actually drop Smelling Salt, I think. Because Crab Hammer's a little bit better. And uh, Smelling Salt, I don't ever really see missing. Let's head on out. Maybe now we can do stuff in here. Not looking good. He's gone off to... Oh, okay. Easy. So we're going to need to go back. We want to go to Slateport, I believe. Yeah. Alright. Ah, the unveiling. Captain Stern, tell us about this. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking time for your busy Peace. Whew, that was my first time to be filmed for TV. That was nerve-wracking. You're looking great, Sonny. We made a huge discovery on our last seafloor expedition. We found an underwater cavern on Route 128. We think it's the habitat of a Pokemon that's said to have been long extinct. <laughs> we of Team Aqua will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. Where is the voice coming from? Where did it? Yeah, it's same. Oh ho! You were tenacious to track us here. That much I will give you. But now, no one can stop us. Or will you follow us back to our hideout in Lily Cove City? How did they do that? But even if I were to chase them, I don't stand a chance against them. Don't worry, Captain Stern. We got your back. Now, let's fly back. All of this adventuring is making me thirsty. Gotta go up top. Yeah, go up here. And then, oh, hey, Sunny, hello, this is Forest. I tried battling another trainer, but I lost. That wasn't the gym leader, right? That was probably, I think there's probably another one. I, I have to know. Hold on. Have, Cause Forest is the only gym leader whose name I remember. Cause I drew Forest. Um, no, that's not what I want. Forest, Rock and Wiz. Yeah, that's a different one. Maybe. That is where that's where Forest would be. Oh, yep, there's another one. Okay. So that probably wasn't the gym leader then. That's the problem with randomizing the names. Part of me wishes I could, uh... I could set specific names, like, after the fact. It's, it's too much work, I know. Oh, I hate teleporters. They're so dumb. Yeah, that's my thought. Yawn, keeping watch over the hideout bores me. I'll take you on. Yawn! Hopefully that made you guys yawn. Alright, designer, and with your hound or. Uh, surf. Splash. It's bad to. Alright. Sky uppercut. That's gonna be most likely a flying type then. So we'll just keep pounding it with Surf. So maybe we should use Crab Hammer. Sky, no, it's not Flying type, silly me. It's, it's Fighting type. Still don't have a super effective counter, so. 
Oh, I lost. Rip Ann. Do you have any, like, words of wisdom? Ooh, perfect. A double battle. Which do you think is cooler, Team Aqua's uniform or Team Magma's? Okay, so, full disclosure. Uh, in Pokemon Go, they put Team Aqua and Team Magma in the, like, the trainer avatar outfits. Uh, if you didn't know this. And... Uh, they were, like, purchasable, so you had to use the in-game currency to purchase them. Which I have a bad habit of doing, and by bad habit I mean unapologetically doing it every time. And so, I only had enough at the time to choose one of them, and so I chose Team Magma's outfit. Team Aqua's probably is actually, like, both aesthetically and actually temperature-wise a little bit cooler. Uh... But I like Team Magma better. I think Maxi tends to come off as a little bit more in charge and like knowledgeable of what he's doing. Even when he's like, oh, this didn't go the way I saw it, he seems to like, he gives off an air of intelligence that is more attractive to me as a potential flunky, I guess. But what about you guys? Do you think Team Aqua or Team Magma is cooler? Which costume would you prefer to wear? And uh, which team leader do you think is the best to follow? Oh, that's not good. That's okay. I think if we hit it with Steel Wing, it should should just destroy that shit in you. He's not going to get hurt by the hail, is he? No. Uh, let's do... No, never mind. Magnitude is not a good idea to do because it would have hurt Buttercup if it had gone off. Do, 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 do. I lost in a cool way. Alright, you promised me a secret. Well, let's just say there's a submarine at the far end. Dude, I already knew that. Yeah, I agree with that. I think overall, though, like, so, so going beyond the original question. Of all of the teams, the, the villainous teams of all the regions, 100% my favorite team is Team Galactic from Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Uh, their leader, besides being, like, actually straight up crazy, um, he, he did seem like he had the, the vision and the charisma, even in his emotionless, kind of almost psychopathic traits. He did have the vision to hold together a team, and his ultimate goal was, like, beyond any other team's goal in, like, what it meant to do. And... Even as, like, a hero versus the villain, I can ex I can respect the, like... The, the desire to just straight up destroy the entire everything. Like, Team Rocket, they just wanted money. Boring. Team Aqua and Team Magma... They want to change the world just a little bit to fit their preferred types. Um, Team Plasma, they just want to like change the, the local customs and culture of the world. Team Skull did not have a goal. They just wanted to be like an annoyance. And I haven't played Sword and Shield, so I don't know anything about that. But Team Galactic literally wanted to just take the universe, destroy it, and build a new one in its place. <laughs> oh, I forgot Team Flare, sorry. They also wanted to destroy the world. But theirs was a more mundane destruction of the world, so... Hold on, did I just... No. Uh, yeah, no, that's bad. Crab Hammer. 
and muddy water might hurt lavender. Can't believe I forgot Team Flare. Team Flare probably has the coolest outfit though, like regardless of their ideologies, if I had to pick one to wear, Team Flare probably would be the one. The red suit is pretty sweet. Ooh, water sport. No, we're not gonna waste a move slot on that garbage move that I've never seen the purpose of. Hmm, okay, so... Let's see if this, this might be a bad idea. Okay, good. Uh, butterfly, but, uh, buttercup will fly. Lavender will... Oh, are you kidding me? That doesn't make any sense. Grat or sorry, Magnitude was supposed to just rip it to pieces. Either it doesn't work like Earthquake does, or despite the fact that Metatite was in the ground, it was Flying-type, and therefore was able to be immune to ground-type moves. And my, my bet is more the second option. It's empty. Oop. Hey there, bro. What's up? <laughs> I'm a cut above the grunts. Is this the guy that technically in the remakes is replaced by uh, Gentleman Sonia? He's replaced by the five grunts with like garbage Poochianas. The Horde Battle Grunt. Which was like a funny concept that was actually garbagely executed in my opinion. Jump kick. Ooh, I don't like that. Nope, that didn't do any good. Lavender. Oh, we are dead? <laughs> no, Lavender. Maximum cry. <sighs> All that time wasted. Ugh, I'm so mad. I didn't remember that Frenzy Plant was a recharge move. I should have known. I knew it had some sort of cost. So disappointed in myself right now. My goal was to not lose anybody this episode. Oh well. Dang it, now I can't even okay, so the idea I had for the the Pokemon design that I was gonna do for Lavender was a water elemental. So like a kind of slime-esque, but more like uh, living water kind of thing that would have uh, it would have started as like pure water but then because of all the dirt it picks up it becomes a mud elemental uh, when it evolves I might still design it just because I have other things I want to design a Pokemon for anyways I'll have to see see how I feel this week no promises but yeah it uh is a huge disappointment to have lost her. Ooh. Are you kidding me, Sonya? Alright, we need to start like thinking with our head and not with just our fingers. So that's not very effective. So we're gonna stop using fighting or poison type moves. Yeah, that's not good either. Future sight, that sucks. Um All right, so we gotta change. This thing is giving off serious uh, uh, psychic type vibes in the little bit I've been paying attention. So let's let's bust out Marigold. Psychic fighting type, maybe. Steal. 
hoping this will just get toasted. You win this round, Sonya. Pew! Goodbye! Alright, so we need dive, but I think in order to get and use dive... Um, oh, you know what? I bet that other portal just goes straight out of this place. We gotta get to the next city. So let's go box Lavender and say an official goodbye to the last two Pokemon as well. That was a nice, like, perfectly sized episode, I think, though. So we'll, we'll end it there. Oh, there's an item there, though. We're going to pick that item up. Not that way, though. There's the stairs. For some reason, I must have thought there was another set of spoon. Hello. Oh, that's cute. Do cool Pokemon like that live in Hoenn? Nice. Yeah, we're not doing another contest. That was... We are not ready for that. Let's pick this up. One Leaf Stone. That would have been... No, oh, no, we can't use that. Never mind. What is this? Must be some sort of a lighthouse thing. Like a little beacon to keep ships away from that pocket of land. Um, this is the fan club. Yeah. So sad. We almost made it, too. That's the worst part. Alright. Oh, Lavender. Oh, Lavender. You will be missed. This is Aster and Begonia, both Pokemon that died but didn't get to be visibly put in the box. They're gone but not forgotten as well. Lavender, you too will be missed. And uh, I think our next option, maybe we should do the Wyrmple, just, just for fun. Just to have a Pokemon that's garbage on our team. Um, flying type, normal poison, bug, dragon. We're gonna need somebody who can learn surf. Ooh, psychic fire would be such a different move set. Plus, the next type is fighting ground, I believe. So I think we will actually. Oh, level five. Okay, we'll have to figure something. I tried to put it on this side of the screen. Okay. We'll have to figure something out there, but I think we'll do Altaria for the next episode. Uh, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Nice short episode today, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for your time. Bye.